Hi, I am with Michael Harris, Emergency Operations Chief of Santa Barbara County. How are you? Doing fine, thank you. Michael, could you give us a brief overview of what Radio Ready program is? I sure can. Radio Ready is a partnership with local radio stations to help get emergency information to our community. It particularly focuses on when we don't have electrical power or telephones. The second part of that is uh, we do that through a satellite network. Mm -hmm. The second part of that is the distribution to kick off the uh, importance of people having hand cranked or hand or portable radios. And that's a distribution of about 5,000 radios, a little bit more than 5,000, to people in our community who are economically disadvantaged, to people who might not otherwise be able to buy one. Although the portable radios have tends to be fairly cheap, you can uh, get one at a lot of different places. These are people who are making day-to-day -day money decisions that might make it tougher for them. And I have one here. Could you explain us how does it work? Well, it's great. And one of the things that we really want people to focus on with these, uh, with these radios, because they're so convenient, is we really stress to people to get a crank radio mm -hmm. as opposed to a battery-powered radio. Because the battery-powered ones end up being kids' toys or they end up just being dead when you go to use this. So yeah. a crank radio. This one also has a um, solar panel. And, of course, it's got a flashlight. So we can use okay. a flashlight. The other thing it's got is AM, FM, and some weather band. The nice thing about this is distributing about 5,000 of these radios to underprivileged people is really a gift to the community from the Orfla Fund mm -hmm. and a gift from a group called the California Concern that came up with this idea. Yeah. The idea was that we're going to be able to communicate in emergencies with radio stations because people, when they get evacuated from their house or when they lose electricity, just like I did I, uh, when, during the Gap Fire, we had to evacuate our house turn to their radios to listen to see what the information is. How can you get that out? So we're going to use a satellite network to get the information to them. They can also communicate back to us. But by them having generators, they can stay on the air, or more likely to stay on the air, to get people information. And lastly, can you just remind our viewers why emergency preparation is so important? Well, I think for obvious reasons, here in Southern California, um, we experience a wide variety of emergencies and disasters, and we're always encouraging people to go to the internet to uh, ready.gov. At ready.gov, you'll find uh, places where you can get information on what, it should, what you should have in an emergency kit. Mm -hmm. You get information about what your business should be to be prepared. If we have, a, what I always tell people is if we have an earthquake of 4.0 that rattles us around a bit, um, maybe causes some minor damage, is that a disaster? Yeah, maybe not. But if you're in business for yourself on that computer of yours that has all your client information or all your customer information just fell on the ground and fractured the hard drive, that's a disaster for you. So what should businesses do to get ready? Um, but we also know that we have you know, hazardous cargo that goes through the rail lines. We know that we have trucks in the, and 101 in Santa Barbara County, a major thoroughfare. What if we have a hazardous material spill and you have to evacuate your house? Where do you find out that you can go except through portable radios and or your car radio? But you can't sit in your car for hours and hours trying to find out what's going on. Mm -hmm. So that's why we looked at a system that had hand cranked radios, has a solar panel to help people keep stay on the air, um, and has a weather band. So when you're you're evacuated or when you need emergency information and you don't have the power, you don't have the luxury of looking on the TV or anything else, you'll have, uh, you'll have this. So your radio should be a major part of your emergency kit. Well, thank you, Michael, and thank you for your daily work towards Santa Barbara safety. Well, thank you very much. And now we are with Bill Perlman, Project Manager of Radio Ready. How are you, Bill? Very good, thank you. Bill, explain me how California Concern helped Radio Ready evolve. Well, California Concern is a, a group of individuals who want to give something back to the community. And uh, we look at different challenges or problems in the community, and then uh, we try and find solutions. And uh, once we find solutions, we find funding, and then we carry out the plan. So uh, with, the, with this particular initiative, we had uh, read the grand jury report of a couple years ago that highlighted certain areas uh, that needed to be improved as it related to emergency preparedness in the county. 
And uh, as we studied this and researched it, we started narrowing it down to communications uh, in emergency uh, situations. Now, who are the different partners of Radio Ready? Uh, the, well, one partner is, uh, of course, Orfila. Uh, they, uh, we, we wrote a grant request to Orfila, and they ultimately funded that grant request. And so uh, the funding, they're, they're our funding partner. Uh, another partner is Direct Relief International, mm -hmm. and they acted as our fiscal agent. They handed, handled all of the financial aspects of this project. The radio stations are also partners, and uh, uh, Davies Communication and Blaze Communication, which is part of the Davies Group, mm -hmm. uh, are put together and are carrying out the public outreach uh, aspect of the initiative. What can we expect from Radio Ready in the near future? Well, uh, I can probably boil it down to a, a very simple message. If you have an emergency radio in your emergency kit at home, wonderful. If you don't, go out and buy one now. And uh, that an emergency radio is your lifeline to information, up-to-date, accurate information um, in the event of a disaster. Well, thank you for all your good concerns about California. And if you need more information, you can uh, get to the county's website, which is www.countyofsb.org. Thank you, Bill. Thank you. If you'd like your nonprofit featured in a future nonprofit spotlight, contact us at the information on your screen.